Hi folks, this is CT Prepper. My title, SHTF, starting now. What I mean by that is SHTF means when the sewage hits the fan. You can say it other ways too. You never know what's going to cause the next big downturn. The, these are these black swan events that you can't mm -hmm. predict. The, what they're saying right now is, if you look at this headline right here, urgent update. This is from Marnia Markets. Anyway, urgent update. Europe's, Europe crushed. Banks slaughtered. What I mean by it's starting now is this could be the first of the dominoes to start falling. Now, pay attention here, okay? Uh, they said there's a fundamental shift in the making. I hope you saw my video about the perfect economic storm. If you didn't, go back and, and watch it. At the end of this video, there will be a link to it. Anyway, let me read this a little bit, and then I'm going to jump into a video uh, by Yahoo Finance, and then we'll go back and wrap it up. We told you a, a major fundamental shift was in the making, and we told you the shift would hit the fan. Now it's happening. Today, even as I write these words, Turkey is getting mangled. In the last few hours alone, its currency plummeted 16%. Its government's borrowing power costs skyrocketed to 20%. Folks, that's huge. If the U.S. had to pay that, we'd, we'd be crushed in a hurry. Add insult to injury, Trump is doubling down tariffs on its exports. Now pay attention to that because that, that'll be in the video in a little bit from the uh, Yahoo Finance. The euro is getting clobbered. It was already falling. Now it's in a free fall. European banks are taking it on the chin. They're up to their eyeballs in Turkish debts. Italian banks are loaded with 17 billion. French banks, 38 billion. Spanish banks, 83 billion. Their bank stocks fell apart today, and it's just the beginning. Shocking charts. With this news hitting so fast and furious, I don't have the time to fancy up our charts, but the story they tell is no less shocking. Look at the Turkish Lira. Its collapse foretells an implosion of the country's entire economic and debt structure. And beware, Turkey is no run-of-the-mill backwater country. It's a primary NATO ally. It's all the crossroads of Europe and Asia. And because it's so deeply in debt to foreign institutions, its demise is sending shockwaves across the world. The first shockwave striking Turkey's major creditors. European banks like Unicredit and Spanx BV, BVA. Take a look at the chart. chart. Look at this thing. <laughs> Whoa, bang, just falling off the charts. Okay, I'm going to get off of this and we're going to go on to the video. <laughs> Stocks are falling as a potential financial crisis in Turkey threatens a global economy. Now, Turkey's currency is hitting a new all-time low against the dollar amid fears that the country won't be able to pay back its debts. President Trump adding insult to injury, tweeting this morning that he plans to double st steel and aluminum tariffs. He says, quote, our relations with Turkey are not good at this time. Andy, I mean, this has caught the attention of investors globally. We're seeing the reaction in the global markets. How big of a deal is this in terms of what's going on in Turkey? Yeah, I mean, well, let's to put this in perspective. Turkey is the 17th biggest economy on the planet, about $850 billion GDP, and that's nestled uh, right between Indonesia and the Netherlands. It's bigger than the Netherlands, mm -hmm. bigger than Sweden, bigger than Switzerland. So. You know, it's kind of surprising. It's not a tiny economy, but it's not a giant economy either. And, you know, um, it kind of harkens everyone back to thinking about Greece yeah. and how much could that upset the apple cart. And I think it can be a persistent irritant. And actually, when you go back in history, Turkey has a long history of being a persistent mm -hmm. irritant. Nicholas, the czar of Russia, the first mm -hmm. in the mid 19th century, calling them the sick man of Europe. Well, here you go again. Um, so I think it's a problem. It bears watching. Um, and of course, geopolitically very important. Well, Jed, do you think Turkey could in fact be the next Greece, that big of a deal, that big of an issue here for the global economy? Uh, 
Sure, I'll go out and say yes. Uh, I, I mean, right now, like the contagion's not there, mm -hmm. but it does have, we're seeing what's happening to Spanish banks, uh, Italy, also some exposure in France. I mean, that is France, that is the issue. It is contagion within the banking system. And you never know, that, that's, that, that's the point of the matter. You never know what's going to cause the next big downturn. The, these are these black swan events that you can't mm -hmm. predict. So folks, I wanted to point out to you to you need to get ready, prepare for the coming days because they are not getting any better. I mean, we, we've got some nice things happening in the U.S. because of the, the Trump policies. I mean, uh, as far as economically, jobs and so forth. Don't let that put you to sleep. You need to get ready and prepare for a massive downturn. If what I'm thinking is correct, it could be the collapse of currency as we know it and then from there comes a one world currency and if you see that things are at a very biblical proportion and you need to get out your bible and look at it real close so folks please take my advice and and prepare get food get water get housing get all that stuff ready and prepared have you ever heard of a bug out bag get a bug out bag get ready for if you have to leave your home in an emergency be ready for any kind of emergency and when stuff really hits the fan like they're saying then it's a you can sidestep a ton of grief and you don't end up behind a government food truck waiting for a handout or who knows what. You don't want to get yourself in that position. So folks, get ready. Thanks for watching.